Welcome to the next part of this exercise. So and now that we have successfully performed the first calculation of this model, and which now includes the elements of the floors, let's go ahead, and take a closer look at some of the results. So and as you can see, this allow us to quickly locate where in our structure, is that the most significant compression and tension forces are taking place. And in this particular case, for those pertaining to the dead load. Nevertheless, and as we already know, we could also check those produced as a result of any of the available combinations. Or of course different load cases. Moreover, and as we have seen in previous videos, we can check these results for specific sections of the structure. Or even for specific members. As an example, let's take a quick look at the compression and tension forces found across the x-axis number 1. So and by isolating this axis from the rest of the model, we can now see more clearly, where is that the most significant compression and tension forces are being produced. And of course and if we needed further detail, we could go ahead and isolate individual frames. But let's move on, and now take a look at the deformation diagrams. Here we have then the diagrams pertaining to the deformations. Now and in a similar way to that of the previous diagrams, we can also go to the Parameters tab, and request the descriptions of the diagrams to be